the tires are smoking. <laughs> Let's do this. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Driven Hard. In today's video, it's gonna be an install video and I'm gonna put a roof rack because I got a cargo carrier, we're moving. And um, I do not have any roof rails. As you can see, I just have these inserts here, a flush roof. And um, I am going to show you how to install the crossbars with this um, Rhino Rack uh, complete kit system here. I don't do a ton of instructional videos like this, so bear with, with me if it is amateur hour. Um, I'm going to basically just do part of it and then record and show you me doing the second part. So I'll have practiced this once. Um, but when I was searching for what system worked best on the new Range Rovers with the flush roof, I cannot really find any videos. So I just wanted to share this for uh, my fellow Range Rover owners um, who obviously are into the same stuff I'm into. So let's get to it. So I'll put the link below where I purchased this kit from. It came with the crossbars, um, the lake kit, and um, uh, what's this one? And the clamps. So um, yeah, let's kind of get to it. So the first thing you're gonna know is um, <clears throat> you're gonna take one of the crossbars, you're gonna just pry off the end piece there and give this a shake to get the wind buffers out. There should be about four of them. Okay, you're also gonna get your little key out Okay, let's put that aside. And whoop, there we are. They actually give you some measuring tapes um, or sticks as well, which is, um, I thought, kind of cool and handy. So, so we take these wind buffers and you just kind of feed them in to the crossbars like this. These just help reduce wind noise. I'm sure, I've never used one of these systems before, so, you know, going based on what they tell me, what they've sold me. You see, you might get some bumps there, so you just kind of, you know, feed those back in. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, so as you get to the last piece, what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna have to cut it just a little bit there um, for it to fit. So I got my trusty shears. And Right. Good. Flush. Perfect. Ready to rock and roll. All right. What's next? Okay. So now we're going to remove the cover plate from these these things. So let's get the keys out. You're gonna need these stickers, so don't lose them. And okay. it's nice that they don't charge you for a lock system like the Thule tool, whatever that other brand is called. They charge you for the lock. All right. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do: grab these guys, get the key. Pop that open. Now this should be, um, this bolt should be in there already. Uh, if it's not, they say just twist it in. And this should already be set up for you guys as well. They send all their stuff, hardware, ready to go. 
So, okay. Now this, you're gonna need the DK um, kit specification sheet that is going to give you specific information for your own vehicle. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the clamp kit and we're gonna get out one of these, uh, what do they call them? Uh, I don't know, rubber things. And if we go over here, there's arrows on them. So this is M368. We want the arrow on this one facing, or right, it's right over here, M368 pad arrow facing out. And the foot plate arrow we want facing out as well. one of the foot plates so you can see there's an arrow right on here so we're gonna have that facing out um, this is gonna be for the passenger side right so we're gonna want that facing out and we're also gonna want this facing out as well so out out it's gonna line up there we pop everything in now you can flip this and it will fit the other way but that's not the specific way um, that they want it for, you know, for, I guess, for the sport here. And then, what we're gonna do, right, move that out of the way. Um, yeah, boom, and we're just gonna clip this in, like that. That just clips in like that. So that is going to go on one side, and then this one, is gonna go on that side and we're good to go with that. They give you these little decals and you have to, for future installation and we're just gonna throw that on there. I'm just gonna repeat the process. six I believe it's gonna be same direction yeah pad out for plate out and I'll put a link for that spec sheet in the description for you as well so arrow facing out arrow facing out Differently, 506, 505, 368, 368. That's interesting. Oh, they also give you one here. 506, 505. Okay, check this out. Check this out. The right front pad is 506. What one did I do? 506 I did the right front okay that's good so make sure you know that so 506 for that pod is gonna be the right front and then 505 is the front left so last thing I need is this falling off on the way to Canada during the pandemic. 
with the wife and kids. Okay, so we're done with that. Okay, so for the next part, we get we gotta take these measuring strips that were inside of the crossbars when we open them, and we're going to cut them based on the um, spec sheet here. So these are the uh, VA like, Verotec or I don't know, Vortex Aero Bar or something like that. So uh, they're 151 millimeters is what we want to cut. These measurement strips too. 151. Sweet. Okay. We'll slide them into the end of the crossbar. Cutout. Make sure you do not actually go over that. It's just flush with it. Cool. So then that. All right, all right, let's do the other one. Now for the rear ones, the uh, measurement that we cut is a little different. You see for the front, it's 151, and then for the rear, it's gonna be 148 millimeters. So now what you're going to do, you're going to take the remaining measurement strips, insert them in, and we're just going to cut them flush. Boom. And you're going to do that for all four sides.
then you're going to take the end cap and there's a key this blue key and you're going to go ahead and lock it now that's locked Okay, so now we're gonna take the completed system and put it up on the Range Rover. So the first thing you're gonna do. Hey babe. Yeah? Come. Okay, so you need to measure from where the two doors meet to there and if you look in the specification sheet it's going to say measurement a right which is right here hopefully it's not too bright from where the doors meet 160 millimeters or 16 centimeters and you're going to line up that arrow and this is one of the stickers that they give you and then measurement b based on the specifications is 75 centimeters from the middle of this arrow to um, so 75 centimeters from here. So that's what we're going to do right now. That's good. Okay. So 160 millimeters from the door meeting. So it should be pretty bang on actually. All right. So we're just going to, all right. Oh, that's hot. Double check the other side and make sure this hasn't moved. Should be good. Sweet. Okay, um, let's do this side. Yep. Okay. From that arrow is there. So, uh, hold on. So bring it in a little. Perfect. Thank you. All right, looking good, looking good. So now, once those are done, all right, we are going to get the clips. Okay, so these are the clips. We're gonna take our torque thingy. Hey, if this video has been helpful, like, comment, subscribe. Most important thing is you comment. I like connecting with other owners. Other people will enjoy doing this like I do. Not a pro, just a man with a passion. All right, okay, so see what I was doing there? I'm pulling it, so we have to go from side to side. So, five, seven. Do not want to pull it. So 
it's definitely a slightly tight fit, um, which I guess should be a good thing. So I don't think my measurements were wrong. go back and forth so it tightens evenly. Okay, let's see this. It's coming together. All right. Coming, to, coming together nicely. Yeah, so that's good. So now we're just inspecting to make sure that's fit properly, right? So it's like as flush as it can be. It's looking okay. This side. Looking okay. It says don't over tighten that. Jesus, the top. It's like about 43 degrees. It's what, 102 for you Americans? All right. I see how you're doing that. That's good. It's good. this one. Oh yeah, all right, I'm feeling that. Ladies and gentlemen, she's complete. <clears throat> so there you have it. The roof rack system, run a rack, mounted, installed, a flush mount roof on the new Range Rover Sport. Not too bad, not too bad. So the last thing to do, is just reinstall these bad boys and you know lock them up excellent There you guys go. Roof rack system fully installed on the new Range Rover Sport with the flush roof. Not too bad, not too bad. Well, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know who you are in the comments, and um, shout out to my boys at Monterey Detailers. Not bad, not bad.